morning folks well a bit of a change to today's videos um, uh, first one this one is about an email I got yesterday from YouTube <laughs> here we go and a bit later on when I get it together there will be one about um, some of the dangerous uh, buildings and uh, in particular the one I live in <laughs> that the council just want to cover up and bodge but anyway let's get into this one now I don't know whether anybody else got um, one of these emails from YouTube yesterday um, basically it's aimed at creators I think but um, I know one or two of you on here do create your own videos and post uh, but I know many of you are in touch and on good terms with some of the bigger channels that are on here um, if you want to forward this to them or get them to get in touch with me via email um, and they haven't received one of these I will email them a copy of it um, it's got links to the new conditions and everything in it but from what I see on it, <clears throat> I'll show you the end of the email in a minute. Uh, it would seem that after January the 5th next year, many, many YouTubers could end up using their, losing their channels. Um, especially with the new terms and conditions. Well, they're not new. They're saying they're rewording and reorganizing them. Um, I've read through some of them <laughs> and basically what it does that they're, they're saying the reorganization and rewording will give and I quote more clarity well from this side of the fence it looks like they're just making it easier for them to kick us off and remove content and um, harder for us to put an appeal through not that many are successful anyway because they just ain't got the uh, sense to investigate the evidence that we give them that we're right they just take it upon themselves and reading through it bruh, yeah if you don't follow the narrative something they don't like um, even the word harassment now has been brought in which can cover a multitude of sins not all of them are sins and not everything that is done is harassment even though it's called harassment but yeah you, you won't be able to have an opinion on certain subjects obviously the truth will never be allowed up again not that it is anyway but I did find one thing very, very worrying. Um, I'll go through the email now and show you exactly what I mean. And we're back. Right. Um, well, this is the email. Um, 5th of January 2022. We're adding terms of service updating terms it's now called to clarify and make it easier of what you expect these changes won't affect the way you use youtube <laughs> yeah right well you click on there you get all the updated um, terms and conditions uh, basically it's just much much more censorship now the one that grabbed my attention thank you for being part of our global community <laughs> is community guideline strikes uh, sorry about the shaking there people i'm using the mouse and i've got this poxy cheap little tripod on the table with the camera but we'll go into this 
Now the bit that caught my attention was this one. Uh, is it that one? Nope, not that one. There we go. <coughs> now this one is the one that all creators should be warned about. So if any of you, which I know some of you are, that are uh, in touch and on good terms with some of the bigger channels, ask them, see if they've seen this, make them aware of it. <coughs> because it does concern many of them. YouTube also reserves the right to restrict a creator's ability to create contact at its discretion. So basically, if they don't like you, they don't like what you do, you can, they can throw you off. If your account has been turned off or restricted from using any YouTube features which basically means uh, is if you've got a strike or you're suspended, you are or will be, when this comes in, prohibited from using another channel to get around these restrictions. This applies for as long as the restrictions remain active on your account. Violation of this restriction is considered circumvention under our terms of service and may well result in termination of your account. <laughs> so what they're saying is uh, people that have got backup channels on YouTube, if your main channel goes down or you get a strike and you're suspended for a week, two weeks or whatever, if you use your backup channel, they'll have you off. Simple as that. And this is why I always recommend go to other platforms to start your secondary channels. Many big channels do. Many of the bigger ones have even gone the whole hog and set up websites to get round this ridiculous amount of censorship. So, as you know, I've got a channel on BitChute, which uh, I will start posting more and more on now, because YouTube just doesn't deserve any creators with the way it's treating a lot of us now. It's going to be all funny cats and car crashes. That'll be it. But um, I just thought I'd give you the update on what I got there. Um, appreciate some feedback on that. Um, if you do get in touch with some bigger channels to see if they've received this email as well. Or whether it was just sent to me um, due to the fact that... Uh, <laughs> I basically spoke out against them in emails and on here. So anyway, guys, um, as I say, there might be one up later on this council fiasco that I've got going on. So until the next one, as always, I'll stay at say on here. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay free from tyranny and censorship. I'm gone.